It is a very sad day, particularly for Ulster Unionism. Uh, I think history will say that the legacy of Jim Molyneux uh, was not one of, of huge you know, excitement, sound bites of what he would have called high wire acts, uh, but very valuably he was a man who brought great stability first to the party, then to unionism, uh, and then to Northern Ireland. At a time when terrorism was at a peak, uh, and at a time when politically we had the seismic shock in 1985 of the Anglo-Irish Agreement, which rocked unionism to its core. Uh, there was a danger that we would have reacted with brawn rather than brains, and Jim Molyneux was always a man who promoted brains. He had huge political skills, great guile, uh, and he was a man who played political chess. He was always thinking four or five moves ahead uh, rather than just uh, the tactical soundbite of the day. He was born in 1920, so just in time to serve in the Second World War. He was one of the first to liberate Berger Belsen concentration camp. He saw man's inhumanity to man on an unimaginable scale, and I think that cemented the values that guided him through the rest of his life. He was a gentleman. Uh, he did the right thing at the right time for the right reason.